Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, circles uh, with the radius uh, 2, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, these uh, circles are tangent to each other. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region in between these circles. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, all these uh, three centers of these uh, circles. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram, I have uh, connected these centers A, B, and C. And now let's recall this uh, fact. According to this, uh, these centers and uh, this uh, point of tangency, they lie on the very same line. In other words, they are collinear. And likewise, this point of tangency and this point of tangency lie on the straight lines as well. And now we know that the radius for all these circles is 2. So this is 2, this radius is 2, this radius is 2, likewise this is 2 across the board. Therefore, this total distance AB is going to be 2 plus 2 is going to be 4. Likewise, this distance BC is going to be 4 units and this distance AC is going to be 4 units as well. So therefore, we can see that our this triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Since all these side lengths of this triangle ABC is 4, and we know all the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees each. This is 60 degrees. This one is 60 degrees. And likewise, this is going to be 60 degrees each. And if we add all these three angles, they must add up to 180 degrees. And once again, just keep in your mind that the side length of this triangle ABC is 4 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equilateral triangle uh, ABC. And here I have copied down this uh, equilateral triangle ABC. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of an equilateral uh, triangle uh, formula. In uh, this case, uh, area is going to be square root of 3 times uh, a square divided by 4 where this a represents the side length of this uh, equilateral triangle. So therefore a value is going to be 4. However, I have decided to show you the whole process uh, to calculate the area of this uh, equilateral triangle step by step. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base times the height. And in our case, our base is 4. If somehow we can figure out uh, this uh, height h, we can easily find the area of this uh, equilateral triangle ABC. So therefore, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular AD on this uh, side uh, BC. So therefore, the side length CD and BD are equal in length. We know the whole length is 4. So therefore, this side length is going to be 2 and this side length is going to be a 2 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADB and we are going to calculate this height H with this AD in this uh, triangle. And since uh, this uh, triangle ADB is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case, uh, this longest leg, uh, this AB is, I'm going to call uh, side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in the, this Pythagorean formula. In our case, A is a 2. C is 4 and B is our H. So this is going to become 2 square plus this is going to become H square equals to 4 square. If we simplify this thing, this turns out to be a 4 plus H square equals to 16. Let's subtract 4 from both sides. This is gone. So our H square value turns out to be 12. Let's undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, 
on both sides so therefore our h value is going to be equal to and here i have simplified this uh, square root of 12 and it turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 so i'm going to write down over here 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore our this uh, height h turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this equilateral triangle ABC and we know our base is 4 units and our height is 2 times square root of 3 and here's our area of a triangle formula so let's go ahead and figure out that one so area is going to be a half times the base in our case is 4 and our height is 2 times square root of 3 and if we simplify this cancels out with this uh, 2 so area of this equilateral triangle turns out to be 4 times the square root of uh, 3 so therefore the area of this uh, equilateral triangle ABC turns out to be 4 times the square root of 3 now let's focus on uh, this uh, circular uh, slice of uh, this uh, circle and this slice is called the circular sector and in our case uh, this is one of our uh, this uh, sector and this is the second one and this is the third one and now let's make an observation we can see that this our green shaded region in between these uh, circles is equal to the area of this uh, big uh, equilateral triangle minus uh, three times the area of these uh, sectors since we have a uh, three of these uh, sectors and just keep in your mind that all these uh, three sectors are uh, identical and since we already figured out the area of this uh, triangle ABC so therefore let's go ahead and calculate the sector area and now let's recall the sector area formula sector area equals to theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square where our angle theta is 60 degrees as you can see over here and our radius r is 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, sector area formula so sector area a is going to be theta in our case is 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi and r in our case is 2 so this is going to become 2 square now we can see 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to reduce to 1 divided by 6 as you can see in this uh, next step and here 2 square turns out to be 4 over here so therefore if we simplify the right hand side our area of this sector is going to be 2 pi divided by 3 so therefore we can see the area of this uh, sector turns out to be 2 pi divided by 3 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region in between these circles so this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to area of triangle abc that we already figured out over here minus uh, 3 times the sector area and we figured out our sector area over here as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the green region area is going to be 4 times the square root of 3 minus 3 times the sector area is 2 pi divided by 3 and once again just keep in your mind that we are multiplying by 3 since we have uh, these uh, three sectors and here we can see this 3 and this 3 is gone so therefore the area is going to be 4 times square root of 3 minus uh, 2 times uh, pi and if we plug in, in these uh, square root of 3 value and this uh, pi value our uh, area is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.645 square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be approximately equal to 0 0.645 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye